Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, so let's do a reaction to you guys' favorite people on Instagram and on a YouTube. Now, I want to continue to talk about this whole situation that is going on with royalty and CJ and how it's so much hate and disrespect towards the mother of his kids. Now, I don't even remember them doing Big Red like this, so I don't understand why they doing royalty like this. Now, like I said in the video on yesterday, if you did not watch that video, make sure you go check it out. Now, it, my feelings, my opinion is that they didn't like her when she was with CJ. So the hate, the jealousy, the rage, all of that was already there before she left CJ. And then when she left him, that just put the icing on the cake. It was like, oh, let's get her ass. Let's get her. I don't like her ass. When they was already in the comments talking shit about her then. They clowned her when he cheated on her. They clowned her when she left. They clowned her now that she's independent and she's doing her shit on her own. They clowning her still. It's like everything she do it's not right in, right in their eyes. But you know, you have to sit down and ask, is what you're doing right in your eyes? <laughs> Why so much judgment on royalty? Royalty stay in her own lane and she really do mind her business. She really is not a confrontational person. So I just don't understand why all people is coming for her. It's sad and it's pathetic. I would never want to be with a man that sit there and talk about another woman. I just, hey, there's no way. And then let alone do it publicly. That's embarrassing. Hell no. My man better be at work doing a man's job. <laughs> not sitting on no goddamn internet talking about a damn woman that's not yours. I don't even know why people are so concerned about royalty. You know, I talk about royalty because I have compassion. I, I'm sympathetic. I, I have empathy for her situation that she's going through. You know, when CJ and Royalty was a couple, you know, I enjoyed watching them. I thought they were a cute family. Like I said in my video yesterday, I thought they were a cute family. I thought they looked good together. I'm just shocked that all of this is happening because she walked away. And CJ just sitting his big square head ass back and just letting it happen. Because at the end of the day, CJ can get on live. He can go on live or he can make a video and up upload it and say, hey, look. I'm seeing so much disrespect towards my baby mama. I want you guys to stop. Stop doing it. But no, that's not what he's going to do. Because he's upset and he's angry at Ruddy for leaving his ass. Because, you know, let's think about it. Because remember, he was trying to put out there that he left her. So if he left her, right, <laughs> why he so mad? Because usually when a man walk away, he done, right? So if he left, then why why so much hate and anger towards royalty? Clearly she left. Clearly she walked away from the situation. Clearly she walked away from a man that's supposed to be a millionaire. Now you know it's bad when a female walk away from a man with millions. <laughs> that's damn near every woman's dream to have a rich man take care of him. But the simple fact that she walked away and ain't want shit from your ass says a lot. It's a lot of shit that went on in the house that we didn't know about. Words he didn't speak on. Trust me. D-Lo know. All them people. Bobblehead number one know. They all know what's going on. But see, we see a different side of CJ. We see CJ so cool. You know, that Kadero James is a different goddamn person. Y'all got to understand, that's two different people. Two, person, two damn personalities. You got CJ so cool, and then you got Cordero James Brady. That is two different goddamn people's, bitch. Royalty say, fuck that. I'm out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't want your money. Goodbye. <laughs> but the simple fact that she said she don't want his money. She don't want nothing from him. And this shit is still going on. Child, it's way deeper than what we think. Trust me. It's way deeper than we think. When Rudsy on that day packed up and left. Well, she didn't even pack up because from what I'm hearing, she left every damn thing. When Rudsy made that decision to leave, it had to be way more than just cheating. Rudsy not speaking on the whole what really happened. But trust me, it's more than him just cheating. Something happened. And Rudsy said, you know what? I feel like I'm in danger. And I'm going to say allegedly, this is just my opinion. And Royalty said, I got to get out of here. I got to get my family out of here. Now, we have known in the past, when CJ and Royalty break up, in a month or two, Royalty goes back. 
YT has not went back. And it's damn near two years later. Trust me. Whatever happened that day when she decided to leave had to be something traumatic. <laughs> I don't know if it have anything to do with that day when they was exchanging the kids. And she said he liked Wee Wee. I, I don't know, allegedly. But it it had to be something serious. Remember, Bruce Jenner was out there talking about, we get married, baby. So, <laughs> Child, it had to be something because you know word on the street allegedly bruce jenner is not a woman so i don't know child this shit is scary <laughs> ain't no telling what the hell is going on now i know it is bruce jenner hasn't been posting any footage from the house i don't know if cj probably said don't do that or she just really haven't been to the house but i see where people in the comments are worrying about where the hell is delusional big red because you know she been uploading these subliminal messages to her insta stories about knowing her worth and all that girl bye you should have been on this first of all ma'am you damn near 40 years old you sh you should not be figuring out your worth you should already known that when a man show you who he is the first time believe it when you had that damn baby girl and he haul ass and left that should have been all the confirmation that you needed but no you was in your goddamn feelings you saw that he was dealing with this beautiful woman royalty our girl royalty and you saw that he was being a family man with her and these kids and you was upset about it you wanted to jump on the youtube screens you want to make all these videos you wanted the world to know that you was cj so cool baby mama and for what because right now here we go almost 13 years later you ain't got shit to goddamn show for it Girl, you went real hard to get those $50 in child support. Girl, he finessed you, ma'am. You was used. You was manipulated. You was tricked. <laughs> Allegedly. Girl, it, there's no way. This man was making millions of dollars. And I know you guys, we don't, I don't say this so many times. But this man was making millions of dollars. And you was getting $50 child support. This man was making more, 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 more millions of dollars. And you were only getting $1,500 in child support. Girl, your whole self-worth as a woman and for your child went out the goddamn window. And now word on the street, your ass not even in Vegas no more. Allegedly, you've been put out the Airbnb. I don't know how true it is, y'all. I cannot confirm. But that's the word on the streets. You've been kicked out the Airbnb. You're back home in Gary. This is a sad situation. You know, it's, it's really sad. And I just don't think the daughter is going to be down there much longer. This is just my opinion, y'all. But anywho, y'all, drop down in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation that is going on with royalty and CJ. How much longer do you guys think it's going to go on? Honestly, I cannot wait to this final court hearing when the judge, you know, makes the final ruling, you know. And I feel like it's going to go in royalty favor. I still believe that he's going to still be able to see the kids. But I do think he's going to have to pay child support. And I think that if I was royalty, I would sue for her legal fees. I would sue for the transportation of the kids flying back and forth. I would sue for pain and suffering for this almost two years she endured of, you know, people dogging her out, saying all of this, being accused of this and being accused of that. I will sue for all of that. All of that falls under pain and suffering, libel, you know, defamation of character. I will sue for all of that, baby. Girl, no ma'am. Don't let, uh, uh keep that foot on the net, royalty. Where's your lawyer? Let me talk to her. Ma'am, <laughs> get it. Hit him in the goddamn pockets. <laughs> Teach his ass a lesson. I bet you they gonna be mad as hell then, baby. <laughs> Enter that kind of suit. <laughs> shared responsibilities huh. that's all i got for this video guys drop your opinions down below stay tuned for part three until the next video